Hi guys, it's Mommy Steve Blog back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial. I actually have been getting a ton, and I mean a ton of compliments on my winged liner lately. And also I've had a few people wonder how I got my wings so I guess perfect. So I thought I would do a gel eyeliner tutorial. I did do a liquid eyeliner one. So if liquid eyeliner is what you're interested in, I will link that down below. I do need to do an updated one because I'm so much better at it now than I was before. But anyways, this one is all about gel. And I think that these are really good videos to do because I feel like gel liner, just like a brow pomade, can be very intimidating. And I just want to show you guys that it doesn't have to be. I know I was one of the people who was very intimidated. In fact, I almost, I gave up at one point. But yeah, I think, you know, really what does it is practice. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I achieve my wings. And so many of you guys love my wing liner. And I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks along the way. So just make sure you stick to the whole thing. Because I think after the clip, I do give you a couple more, like, tidbits on gel liner but anyway so if you like a how-to on gel eyeliner and how I do my gel eyeliner then just keep watching okay guys so for gel aligner you're just gonna need a few things you're just gonna need an angled brush some makeup remover and of course your eyeliner I use the Maybelline New York eye studio gel liner in blackest black the brush that I use for my liner, I use the Sigma Angled Brow, the E75. I know it's a brow brush, but I like how tiny it is. Some people use the E65, but I find that I just have better control, and I like how this one's a little bit smaller and thinner, so I choose to use this one. I think if you're more experienced with gel eyeliner, people use the E65. I think I'm pretty experienced now, but I'm just so used to the E75 that I use that. Anyway, so the first tip I can give you about gel eyeliner is always do your eye makeup first because then you can go with makeup remover and you can just sharpen up that line and everything. Now, if you have already done your foundation, you could just use concealer and it works kind of the same way, but I just find that makeup remover works better and it just looks better. You know what I mean? I find that like if, if I have foundation on, so it's a little bit damp right here, my line isn't as good as it would be if I had done my eyeliner before my foundation. Now, let me just show you how I do it. So here is my eyeliner, once again, the Maybelline Gel Studio, and then I take my brush. And what I do is, let me get you all close and personal. By the way, excuse my face, I was wrestling with my daughter and I didn't clip her nails, so I got kind of scratched. So I dip it in, and then I scrape it on the edges, and you want it to look nice and thin like that. And then what I do is I kind of find where I want my line to be. So basically, from your brow bone to here, it's kind of where you want your line to be. That'll be your perfect wing line. And you never want to surpass your crease unless you want to do a really drastic wing. And that's why my wings always look big, because I always go up to my crease, and I have huge eyeballs, so there's nothing I can do about that. And also, the size of your wing, just do whatever do whatever is comfortable for your eye type or your eye size. Once again, I have huge eyes, so I can get away with a bigger wing than if I was to have smaller eyes. You know what I mean? So, what I do is once I kind of found my line, I just very carefully draw just like the thinnest line. And then I, you want to connect the dots from there to there, which this part just takes practice. And I hold my skin slightly taut because um, it just it gives me better control. And um, I also have super, I have a ton of lid skin, and so I can get gaps in my eyeliner if I don't do this. And then I just draw a line, and it doesn't always go to the end because then I just go in over here. and I match it up to there. So you see, and then I'm gonna be going in and filling it in. Here, but that's okay because this is why I always do my eye makeup first because then I feel like I don't have to worry as much because if I mess up I can just you know, touch it up so then once I have this then I'll go in if I want to make it thicker I'll do that or you know whatever I want to do to make it look how I want it to look 
So this time I want to be a little bit more sharp. Just like that. See? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Now this is a tricky part, getting them to match. And the problem is this side of my face is lower than this side and this eye droops more than this one. So getting them to match perfectly for me is so difficult <laughs> because it's just, it's so different. Darken that up and then just draw, connect. Once again, I'm gonna connect the dots. Oh, and when you're going back in for more, always scrape it on the edges because you want it to remain thin and pointy. And really, this whole thing just takes patience. Um, I know that I couldn't do, like, I was about ready to give up because I couldn't do wing liner. I couldn't do gel liner for the life of me. And I just, I couldn't do it. I tried multiple times and I just, I couldn't get it right. And then what I decided to do was every night, before I went to bed, I would practice for about five minutes because it's makeup, you can just wash it right off, right? So I do my makeup for about five minutes every night just to practice my gel liner. And eventually, I got it. Where I do my gel liner, but then I do my liquid liner. The reason I keep going back for more is I'm using very tiny amounts of product because it's easier to add more product than to take away. match pretty good so now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to touch them up so before I actually go clean up the line I take a makeup remover wipe and I just wipe away excess makeup or liner you know what I mean okay so now I'm gonna do normally I'd be using liquid line liquid makeup remover for this but in the move I lost it so I'm just gonna be taking my makeup removing wipe and I'm taking the whoop, I'm taking the E65, just an angled, you can use any angled brush, and I'm gonna be wetting the end of the brush with whatever is on the makeup wipe. And actually, you don't want too much product anyway, so this is fine. All right, and once I've done that, what you do is you go on along the line, you just clean it up. And that's how you get the perfect wings. Now I do notice that it's thicker on this side, so when I notice things like that, I'll go in and I'll touch it up if I think I can. But once again, my eyes are so different, it's really hard to do. So that is how I do my gel wing liner. Now I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup once again, excuse the redness, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is it for how I do my gel eyeliner. I hope you guys found it really helpful. Um, just a couple things I wanna mention, and I might have already mentioned them, I can't remember, is one, the best, the best tips I can give you, just all in a nutshell, so that you guys can use tab down, is one, do your eye makeup first so that if you mess up, you can adjust it with some makeup remover. Two, if you do your foundation first, then just go ahead and use concealer. I still feel like doing your eye makeup first is better, but it does work almost the same way. And then number three, Every night, like if you're really intimidated by gel eyeliner, but you really want to get into it, every night for about five minutes, just sit there and practice and practice and practice and practice. And that was really how I got it. I used to try and do gel eyeliner and I was just like, screw it. I can't do it. It's way too hard. I don't have that kind of talent. And I just gave up. But then I was like, no, I'm going to figure out how to do it because if there's something I want to, if there's something I want, I will get it. So what I want to know is how to gel, do gel eyeliner. So I did it. So every night for about five minutes, because it's, make, it's makeup, it washes right off. So whatever. I mean, don't even do like a full face, just do eyeliner. And that's what I was doing. And I finally got it. So yeah, that is everything that I have to say. I do hope you guys found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below. Also hit subscribe if you miss any more of my videos. And other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.